Perfect Table Plan now supports multiple levels of undo. You can now use HTML text for display names. Here we've used tags for bold, line break and italic. Multi-level sort is now supported. Filter guests in the guest pane by their assignment status, RSVP status and also by their name. Import multiple guests per row from multiple columns. This is particularly useful when main guest and partner details are in separate columns. Importing is now a two-step process. Click Next to preview your import. Click Back to modify your data. Click OK to accept your changes. Existing guests are shown in blue. Resize your floor plan by dragging and dropping the bottom right hand corner. Edit multiple table properties in a single operation. You can now add individual seats to a table. This is particularly useful for large E-shaped tables. You can also delete individual seats. Delete all empty seats in a single operation. This will remove any seats that don't have assigned guests and any tables with no assigned guests. Custom tables can have rounded ends. Use the new line tool to draw walls and other linear features. You can set the colour, thickness and restrict the lines to 90 degree angles. Click to start your line, then click on each change of direction. Double click to complete your lines. You can now optionally hide empty seats, for example these two seats. Just check hide empty seats. You can now auto size seat text so that all text is the same optimal size. Auto seat assignment now has an optional animation. Here we've coloured the seats according to how happy the guests are. You can turn off this animation in the preferences window. You can now ask Perfect Table Plan to suggest the best guest to put in a seat. Select this guest to assign them. If the search is taking a long time, for example because it's a very large plan, the best option found after a couple of seconds will be shown. Reorder columns in the Guests and Groups pane using drag and drop. The new order will be remembered when you reopen the plan. Create a list of standard suffixes to use across plans in the same way you already can with titles. They are added into the suffix drop down list and are also used to work out which part of imported names are suffixes. If you have a text list of suffixes you can easily add them in by clicking add text list. Add predefined lists of titles to your preferences.
optionally sort titles and suffixes in the order they're shown in the titles and suffixes tab of the preferences window instead of alphabetically. This could be useful if you're seating guests by rank or precedence. The group item in the groups pane is shown bold if any of the group members are not assigned a seat. And underlined if any of the group members are locked. And strike through if any of the group members have RSVP status declined or cancelled. This makes it easier to see the status of a group at a glance. You can now mirror elements in your stationery. This makes it easier to do the backs of place cards. You can also snap elements horizontally and vertically to guidelines.